And he's here now with this point. This, uh, that's sort of... And he's here now with this point. This, uh, that's sort of autobiographical, isn't it, that yeah. song? Tell yeah. us a bit about... It's about your father, your relationship with him? Or lack of. Mm. Lack thereof, yeah. Um, he was always the parent I looked up to. I was brought up by my grandmother. My mum was young when she had me and my dad left. My mum quite early after the pregnant after she had me, sorry. Mm. Um, and he was always in and out of my life, which caused me a lot of problems as a kid. Um, and that kind of continued into adulthood. And then he took his own life. Mm. Um, I hadn't seen him for six years, so the song touches on a few things I'd like so to have said to him. You miss him now, but you miss the relationship you never had. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't know, I suppose there's something bittersweet about it, really, isn't there? Mm. You know, in turn, it's kind of given me that song and and allowed me to do this, but it would have been nice just to be able to have, to have had a conversation and resolve things. Yeah. Well, it sounds really um, sort of trite to say it, but does it help by writing a song about it, do yes. you think? Yes, yeah. It, talking to people doesn't really help me, but when I write things down, it helps me make sense of what's going on in my tiny brain. Mm -hmm. But I think it, was, it, would, it would resonate with a lot of other people. Do yeah, you know, I don't think, you know, that there are probably not many people who have been through that exact situation, but there's an awful lot of people who have felt that abandonment, be it from their dad, their mum, or or anyone, so I think a lot of people can relate to the emotion in the song. And very few people actually get to have a truly honest discussion, sons particularly, with fathers. There yeah. are feelings there, but afterwards you think, I think it has happened to me as well, you think, gosh, I wish I'd said that. Yeah. You know. um, are all your songs autobiographical? Is that, I mean, that's where the inspiration comes from, is it? Um, for the most part, yeah. Even the songs that aren't necessarily about me, I think you have to take influence from things that you see and that you do. Um, and the only way you can have a voice of authority is if you, you speak honestly and about something you know. Mm. Mm. And th there's an extra level to your songs through the uh, young woman we saw singing there with you, Emily, Emily Sande, who's yeah. got a wonderful voice, and that She's just brings incredible. that extra level of emotion, doesn't it? You know what, when, we had, um, when I first recorded the song, she was the first person I asked to do the chorus, and I, I couldn't think of anyone else who'd be able to convey that emotion as well as she does. She's got this insane ability to, she's got a really dark edge to whatever she does. Her single Heaven went to number two earlier this year and mm. I've been fortunate enough to hear some of her albums coming out and it is. And you performed that incredible. one, didn't you, on X Factor this weekend? Yes. If you have a little look. It looks like a, a huge, big arena, big sound, big area to fill, and you just get that sense. I mean, amazing feedback from the audience as well. Do you? Yeah. It was. It's, it's, it, it's weird. It looks a lot smaller when you're there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it looks epic on it looks TV. Like an arena. And it, yeah. <laughs> but it's a lot smaller when you get there. Um, but it doesn't take any of the pressure off. I don't think I've ever been so apprehensive about anything in my life. Really? Why? Yeah. Why? Because of the sheer amount of people watching? Or and what just is it? the stigma attached to it. It's, it's X Factor. It's the biggest platform as an artist that we have to perform on. Mm. And I can't believe they, they asked for me to be on there, to be honest. You know, I was so early on in my career, you know, you, watching Kelly Clarkson, you know, sold 23 million records worldwide. I've sold 500,000. It's it was a privilege. And it's you said you were so nervous you thought you couldn't sleep or...? I was up at ten past four that morning. Were you really? Pacing, walking around the house, went up to my nan's, took her a cup of coffee at like quarter past seven in the morning. <laughs> Spoke to her for a couple of hours trying to take my mind off it. Yeah, there's been a lot of criticism of X Factor over the mm -hmm. past year or two in that it's, it's sort of homogenising music. The, 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 the criticism is. Yeah. You know, what do you think? Um, I think in the beginning stages it is fairly entertainment based isn't it but towards the end I mean you have to be talented to win it you can't well although there is Frankie Kokoza <laughs> <laughs> I mean he hasn't won it yet but he can't sing um, yeah so I think but I think when it comes down to it it does come back round to the talent mm. I um, mean, I guess the thing is that um, you, you write your own stuff they're not writing their own stuff and that's where the real talent is isn't it? if you're writing your own stuff yeah, but then some of the, the biggest performers in the world didn't write the songs. Mm. Mm. Uh, the album is, uh, is coming out shortly. Yep. Uh, only one of us was privileged to hear it, and that was Louise. It's excellent. <laughs> I'm lucky. Yeah. Thank and, you. Uh, tell us, uh, is there other autobiographical stuff on it, or what, what themes do you deal with on it? Um, there's upbeat and fun stuff, more like the, some of the singles from the first album, but there's also other autobiographical stuff and, and deeper stuff. It touches on some hard subjects. Um, I really want people to appreciate the, the depth and the breadth of the record, um, especially in the musicality. You know, we worked with the Heritage Orchestra a lot, 
um, and we've got an awful lot of live instrumentation on there. From touring with a live band, it kind of gave me a lot of freedom to, ch mm. to change how we played things, and I really wanted that freedom with this record, and was fortunate enough to, to mm. get it. Because there's a kind of mixture, isn't there, between what? Well, I'm, you know, I'm not an expert in rap at all, but sort of more pure rap, and mm -hmm. then the mixture, isn't there? Yeah, I think melody is such an important part. I don't think it waters it down. I think you know. Music comes from melody originally. Well, it needs, it needs to evolve, soft, though, yeah. as, as a form of music. Otherwise, it's going to get stuck in a rut. So it's well, got it to become stagnant, doesn't it? Yes. Um, and I just think melody is incredibly yeah. important. Although I'm very careful about what I sing. You know, I'm very aware of my capabilities when it comes to singing. Are you okay? Right. <laughs> well, <coughs> you remember? Oh no! Yeah, I do. <laughs> last time you came on, we had a little bit of a rap <laughs> contest. I'm sure you're delighted to be reminded about this, <laughs> Professor Green. People might think you're mean, but I don't think you are. You're the nicest rapper I've seen on the sofa. Come on. Oh, come on. Do you mean? No. <laughs> that's just, I can't. People are going to think we stage that. <laughs> He's lost for words. He's not lost really. Lost for He's words. Not. He's just being very polite. Thanks very much. I have much. to be careful. We're not post-watershed. <laughs> okay, no. Well, oh, well, that's a very good point. You know point. this is coming. Oh, dear. All right. So, Should we look away? <laughs> <laughs> stand by on Radio 1 because they're going to. Uh, anyway, uh, so, Professor, you seem like a pretty nice chap. I hope you are here ready to rap. Uh, otherwise, you might have a mishap and you might have to do a tap dance on your head instead. Enough said? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were coming, you, oh, you, you know, you're coming on breakfast, oh, you don't have to raise your game, right get up there, come on. Bill, I thought you would have learned the last time. You can't rhyme, ruining my morning, and it's not even half nine. You can't rap, you're whacking, you got no flow. Stop it, Bill, please, you're embarrassing your co-host. Oh, oh, brilliant. Lovely, Stop. thank you. And thank also you very true. much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you say you got no flow? What does yeah. that mean exactly? Flow is, is how you rhyme the words, it's okay. the rhythm. Okay. All right, okay, so... Next time. No, <coughs> are you going to try another one? No, 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 I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Until next time. Until Bill. next yeah. time. Oh, well, yeah, I've got a whole year, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, are you going on tour? Yes, we start... Um, I leave for Ireland this evening. Okay. Um, start tomorrow in Ireland and then finish in London on December the 15th. So it's a long tour. It's going to be grueling, but I'm ready. Yeah. Right. yeah. And you're working on a documentary as well? Yes, Professor Green Unseen, which goes out on uh, T4 every Sunday morning. OK. All right. It's just me and my mates being a bunch of degenerates, to be honest. This ain't no lie, I'm going to say, uh, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> so reach for the sky, <laughs> Professor I. Ish? Ish, yeah, <laughs> kind of. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I can be the, can I be the support act? Then I'll make you look really good. We've already the got one for this tour, we've got the Rizzle Kicks, but maybe oh, okay. on, like, maybe next year yeah. or the year good. after. All right. Good yeah. stuff. <laughs> Professor, as ever, thank you very much indeed. You get a whole you. new audience, believe me. <laughs> He's got a lot of fans. We could do a single together. We could do a single together. The single, the proper single, read all about it, is out now. The album, At Your Inconvenience, is out on October the 31st, and then the Christmas one we're going to work on after the <laughs> That's all from us this morning. Writing your own stuff. Yeah, but then some of the, the biggest performers in the world didn't write the songs. Mm. Mm. Uh, the album is uh, is coming out shortly. Yeah, uh, only one of us was privileged to hear it, and that was Louise. It's obviously. excellent. <laughs> I'm lucky. Well, you know. and, uh, tell us, is there other autobiographical stuff on it, or what what themes do you deal with on it? Um, there's upbeat and fun stuff, more like the some of the singles from the first album, but there's also other autobiographical stuff and and deeper stuff. It touches on some hard subjects. Um, I really want people to appreciate that the depth and the breadth of the record, um, especially in the musicality. You know, we worked with the Heritage Orchestra a lot, um, and we've got an awful lot of live instrumentation on there. From touring with a live band, it kind of gave me a lot of freedom to, ch mm. to change how we played things, and I really wanted that freedom with this record, and was fortunate enough to, to mm. get it. Because there's a kind of mixture, isn't there, between what, well, I'm, you know, I'm not an expert in rap at all, but sort of more pure rap, and mm -hmm. then the mixture, isn't there? Yeah. I think melody is such an important part. I don't think it waters it down, I think, you know, Music comes from melody originally. Well, it needs, it needs to evolve, soft, though, yeah. as, as a form of music. Otherwise, it's going to get stuck in a rut. So it's well, got to become stagnant, doesn't it? Yes. Um, and I just think melody is incredibly yeah. important. Although I'm very careful about what I sing. You know, I'm very aware of my capabilities when it comes to singing. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> well, <coughs> you remember. Oh no! Yeah, I do. <laughs> last time you came on, we had a little bit of a 
rap <laughs> contest. I'm sure you're delighted to be reminded about this. <laughs> Professor Green, people might think you're mean, but I don't think you are. You're the nicest rapper I've seen on the sofa. Come on. Oh, come on. Do you win? No. <laughs> that's just, I can't. People are going to think we stage that. <laughs> He's lost for words. He's not really. Lost for he's words. Not, he's just being very polite. Thanks very much. I have much. to be careful. We're not post-watershed. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> well, oh, well, that's a very good point. You know this is coming. Oh, dear. All right. So... <laughs> Three look away. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by on Radio 1, because we're going to... Uh, anyway. Uh, so, Professor, you seem like a pretty nice chap. I hope you are here ready to rap. Uh... Otherwise, you might have a mishap and you might have to do a tap dance on your head instead. Nuff said? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you're coming, you, oh, you, you know, you're coming on breakfast. Oh, you don't have to raise your game. Right, get up there, come on. Bill, I thought you would have learned the last time. You can't rhyme, ruining my morning, and it's not even half nine. You can't rap, you're whacking, you got no flow. Stop it, Bill, please, you're embarrassing your co host. Oh, oh brilliant. Lovely, Stuff. thank you. And thank also you very true. much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you say you got no flow? What does yeah. that mean exactly? Flow is, is how you rhyme the words, it's okay. the rhythm. Okay. All right, okay. So Next time. No, <laughs> are you going to try another one? No, 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 I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Until next time. Until Bill. next yeah. time. Oh, well, yeah, I've got a whole year probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're going on tour? Yes, we start, um, I leave for Ireland this evening. Okay. Um, start tomorrow in Ireland and then finish in London on December the 15th. So it's a long tour. It's going to be grueling, but I'm ready. Yeah. Right. yeah. And you're working on a documentary as well? Yes, Professor Green Unseen, which goes out on uh, T4 every Sunday morning. Okay. All right. It's just me and my mates being a bunch of degenerates, to be honest. This ain't no lie, I'm going to say, uh, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> so reach for the sky, <laughs> Professor I. Ish. Ish, yeah, oh, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I can be the, can I be the support act? Then I'll make you look really good. We've already got one for this tour. We've got the Rizzle Kicks, but maybe oh, okay. on, like, maybe next year yeah. or the year good. after. All right. Good yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, as ever, thank you very much you indeed. You get a whole you. new audience, believe me. <laughs> He's got a lot of fans. We could do a single <laughs> together. We could do a single together. The single, the proper single, read all about it, is out now. The album, At Your Inconvenience, is out on October the 31st, and then the Christmas one we're going to work on after the <laughs> That's all from us this morning.